Chapter 13 K E H L A N I S P O V So with harsh breathing, a tear streaked face and socks with little cupcakes on them I took off. Kahalani. It wasn't him, it was Kailan, but I didn't stop. I didn't know where I was going but instead I was tackled to the ground, on the grass. Why do you run so fast? Get off Kailan, dad's just mad. She tries as we stand. You always stand up for him. True enough this wasn't the first time he let angry words like these escape his mouth. Kehlani we can't break up what we have. You should know that. I can't believe you're right now. Did you hear what he said to me? And you're here telling me this rubbish go tell that to him. I try to build up myself every day and it seems like everything is working against me. I start sobbing and she frowns at me. I'm glad that you didn't end up like me Kylan. I'm glad that you're strong but I'm not. Great. I was yelling. Maybe I should just disappear. I would be making things easier for myself. Kahalani. I know you're hurt tight now. What dad said wasn't right but he had a point. Maybe love just isn't for you. I stared at the person I grew up with for 17 years in disbelief. How can you say that? How can you? As a person and my sister tell me that I don't deserve to be low Veda. That's not what I say Da, Just leave me alone. Please. Just go away. And where are you going? I don't answer as I wrap a hand around myself and take off in a direction that I was going in not too long ago. Atilda. 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 The good thing about Draco's house is it was about 20 minutes from mine. I was tired and my feet ached but I made it. I groaned, realizing that it was probably 3 a.m. but I was here already right? So what do I do? I can't crawl into his bedroom because I don't know which one is it. Is it crazy that I went ahead and just knocked? Eyeing the guards were really as they didn't even intervene or ask questions. After the fifth time I gave up, turning to walk but the door opened and I came face to face with Tequila. To be honest, I was afraid of that woman. She rubbed her face. Kehlani, sweetie why are you out so late? Dew took in my eyes and my attire before just nodding and letting me in. I felt a bit awkward, silently regretting that I had walked all the way here. The boys are sleeping. Would you like something to drink? Water is fine. I murmur and she nods, grabbing a bottle. She was quite the catch. She was really beautiful with frizzy hair and pure chocolate skin. Her body was a work of art, as she had what seemed to be an oversized t-shirt and basketball shorts. Maybe her husband's. Then again they're rich so if they decide to buy oversized clothing willingly I would be surprised. I know you're here to see Draco but I hope you wouldn't mind talking to me. She asked. Rubbing her eyes a bit more as we sat on the couch. I I don't know. I look down at my water and she sighs. You know when I was your age, every relationship I had failed drastically. She laughs softly. I started thinking that I was the issue you know. That I was the reason it wasn't working out. I look up at her, my eyes wide as she practically retells my story. I had a boy best friend, Reed. Ace doesn't like him. She giggles and I can't help but smile. And I couldn't even tell he was in love with me because I was too saddened by the fact that I wasn't good enough. She sighs. They would cheat on me. And maybe if I was lucky they'd just leave without telling me a thing. So I told myself I didn't need love. That's what everyone was telling me. She shrugs. That I was independent and could do everything by myself and I got a dog named Hugo and that was my boyfriend for years. Then you know what happened? Her eyes widens and I was seriously interested in her topic. I got kidnapped and fell in love. Wait what? The look of horror on my face had her cracking up. This must be a joke. Kidding. She says suddenly and I blow out a breath. Then she looks out like someone was hearing everything she said and winked. Chapter 14 K-E-H-L-A-N-I-S P-O-V I never thought I'd see the day when you actually wanted to see me. Holden speaks up as I sat on the park bench. Hi Holden. 
he was one that I wasn't afraid to speak in front of, he was maybe one of my bests, but I wasn't to him, to what do I owe the pleasure, I just want, I want to feel better so I am just going to let this out, I don't care, about what made you cheat, or if I can make any flower bloom in any season, but I want you to know that what you did hurt me, we were close, really close, maybe I was even on the verge of loving you, but I made a mistake, I didn't see that we rushed into it so quickly, or that you were wasting both mine and your time waiting for sex, I believe in celibacy, so I'm sorry if that wasn't clear, I forgive you, I murmur the last part, I forgive you for breaking my heart, for making me feel this way, I forgive you for continuing to date that girl, I forgive you for everything, now is where we part ways, I'm sorry also, he coughs up, reaching for my hand and I allow him to take it, I shouldn't have tried to use you, or any other girl for a fact, thanks for forgiving me, although I don't deserve it, we both end up laughing and I actually felt lighter, we didn't leave right away, instead we reminisced all the funny times we had, a tilde, a tilde, a tilde, how did go, perfect, I lay my head against the glass staring outside, no slapping, no violence, I giggle, turning towards Draco and our smiles at me, why are we friends, I ask suddenly and he snorts, what kind of question is that, well, I wouldn't imagine someone like you just hanging out with someone like me, what do you mean, I sigh loudly, boys, well, you're from college, I'm in high school, you're wealthy, I'm more middle class, I bet you have a string of girls falling at your feet, I have a string of boys using me like a tissue, stop, he sends me a glance and I shrug, it's the truth, well you're beautiful, and somehow you don't lust after my looks, who says I don't, or money, I like being around you, you're a new atmosphere, a breath of fresh air, the sand between my toes are, I get it, I giggle and he winks, you're ridiculous, and you're beautiful, a tilde, a tilde, a tilde, I haven't seen my dad much since our argument, suddenly he had a million cases, Kyle and tried talking to me but I wasn't having it, she's my sister, she's supposed to support me, to encourage me not, what she did, it was my birthday, the day of the party and I wasn't feeling any of it, I had this gut feeling that something was going to go wrong, so I said a happy, thank you prayer, thankful that I made it to 17 years and I was graduating this year, my TV displayed star and the forces of evil as I stayed wrapped in my comforter with a jar of Nutella in my hand and a spoon, someone knocked on the door and I didn't bother answering, if it was important they'd let themselves in, my dad is suddenly in front of me and I pretend not to see him as I continue sucking on the spoon, Kahlani, he sighs, sitting on my bed and I clench my jaw, happy birthday, he whispers and my eyes snap to him, he seems to know that he's seriously messed up this time, there were bags under his eyes, and his hair was a mess, but I didn't care, that much, thanks, I mutter dryly, Returning my gaze to the TV, I'm sorry, uh, not today dad, please. I sigh and he goes silent, nodding, as he leaves. I knew Kailan was due soon and I had the same words for her. I'm glad she already knew that I wasn't going to be any part of her party as dad changed his flight and was leaving in maybe an hour. I had big plans today, none of them involved being with the outsiders. A tilde, a tilde. A tilde, the noise, I turn up my TV louder as Kylan was being completely inconsiderate right now, with the music, I know she's 17, but gosh, the whole neighborhood doesn't need to know, I could tell by the cars outside that there were a lot of people downstairs, so I made sure I locked the doors, 